Hello, everybody. I know it has been a hot minute since I have made a video, so I apologize for that. Just been busy and living my life. That's all it is. Um, so before we jump into our story today, I would like to go through, like I said, we're going to do with our tattoos and true crime and go ahead and show you the tattoos that really caught my eye today featured right here. All right, the first one is from C. Hummel Tattoo with this awesome giraffe out of Satori tattoo. Love this studio, love this tattoo. The next one is this John Wick tattoo, which is actually from Da Vinci Studio, which will be featured in the story today. Love it. This gorgeous pumpkin head is from Stephanie Heffron in Arizona, and I just love the vibrancy and the Halloween-y spoopy vibe. Okay, so I hope you guys appreciated those as much as I do. Um, our true crime case today isn't much of a story because it is so recent. Um, it was actually on my YouTube For You page, I believe, and it was a really small story. But because I do tattoos and true crime and like that's that's my gig, um, it suggested this. So unfortunately, last month, this beautiful woman named Alicia Campitelli, who also went by Red Campitelli because of her gorgeous ginger hair, um, was found murdered in her apartment. Now, she was found by her fiance and he thought she had just been shot or that's what he told the police. For a couple days, all her friends and family found this very, very suspicious. And within a few days, the cops started noticing some things. And I'm actually going to insert a clip here. Developing at noon, we're learning more about the man accused of killing his fiance. Investigators say Philip Keller shot Alicia Campitelli, a popular piercing artist at a Brevard County tattoo shop. He's accused of then calling 911 and lying about it. News 6's Mark Lehman tells us what the suspect did next when deputies confronted him. The sheriff says the arrest is something that came with some difficulty. He says the fiance of the victim actually jumped into a creek to avoid capture deputies catching up to that suspect a short time later and transporting him here to the jail where he's now facing murder charges. And this evening I have an update concerning an arrest in the murder of Alicia Red Campitelli. Brevard County deputies announcing the arrest of 39 year old Philip Keller. Investigators identifying him as the person who killed his fiance Alicia Campitelli known as Red to many is someone who had an impact on the Merritt Island community. A big loss because everybody was like really loved her because she was really loved and she was a special person. Keller first reporting the death in a call to 911 Saturday morning. Keller stated his house appeared as if it had been robbed and his fiance appeared as if she had been shot. But deputies say suspicion turned to him after a neighbor reported hearing gunshots from the couple's apartment the night before. In the time that followed, detectives say Keller was also seen on surveillance video using his fiance's credit card at several businesses. A tip on Thursday then led to an arrest warrant. Earlier tonight, Keller provided specific information relating to the crime to a citizen who then contacted homicide agent. I killed her, bro. I killed her high as I did it. The Brevard Sheriff's Office says these are Philip Keller's words as he confesses to shooting his fiance with her own gun in a drug-fueled rage. Body piercer Alicia Red Campitelli was a popular employee at the Da Vinci Tattoo Shop at the Merritt Island Mall. Investigators now alleging Keller killed the 35-year-old early Saturday morning, 10 hours before he called 911. I need help immediately. And lied. Campitelli was home alone when he found her body in their schoolhouse street apartment. It looks like she's been shot and getting robbed. My house has been robbed. Okay, she's not breathing at all? No. Investigators believe the couple was fighting about Keller using drugs. They say he confessed to missing her with the first shot, Campitelli's last words before he shot the second and third bullets, oh God, no. We have uh, Mr. Keller present. Yes, sir. After the shooting, Keller's arrest affidavit reads he stole his fiance's money to buy more drugs and he threw her gun into the Canaveral Barge Canal. The sheriff's office says Keller jumped into the Indian River Lagoon himself to avoid capture. Divers are looking for the gun now as Campitelli's coworkers say they're planning a special event to honor Red. Now, as the news report said, he even told someone about the crime he had done and then proceeded to throw the gun in the river that was near the apartment and also threw himself in. And later on, um, it came out when he 
he confessed to killing um, Red. And the neighbors pointed out they had heard a gunshot the night before Philip ever, Philip's her fiance, or was her fiance, uh, called the police. So, yeah, but unfortunately, they were fighting over his drug and alcohol abuse. It came to light. And she had been several years sober, which I believe her best friend mentioned in the vigil video. I'm going to show here. Well, loved ones and friends say Alicia Campitelli was a bright light and a positive spirit who gave so much though she was taken so soon. And hundreds came out to honor her at a vigil here in Coco late Sunday. <laughs> Through music and tears, hundreds came out here in Coco Sunday to grieve and say goodbye. The most beautiful star among all stars. The most beautiful way to say your goodbye. Ren loved you all. And please stay strong. They held candles, hugged, and grieved. All for Alicia Campitelli, known by many as Red, a popular tattoo shop employee in Merritt Island with a bright smile and a big heart. She was an advocate for recovery and addiction, and so she's literally helped save many people's lives here in this community. Loved ones, though, wanting to focus on Campitelli's happy days and her positive spirit, a woman who will forever shine bright. She was in such an amazing place in her life. She was so happy and vibrant and ready to, to just really take on her future. But I just thought this was, you know, a really tragic case. And she was a really talented and well-loved girl. Absolutely stunning, you know. Not that that would change whether you should go or not, but it... It's a disturbing and tragic enough case. Um, I thought I would bring it to light. It is still very, very fresh. And from everything I can see, the last update was four weeks ago. So I believe his trial is pending. Philip Keller, her now ex-fiance. Um, like I said, a lot of this is going to be news clip based, I found. But um, the studio she worked for was Da Vinci. And it is in Merritt Island, Florida. Which, if you look on the map, it's on the Atlantic side. So on the east side, um, pretty central Florida. So, I mean, not central in the center, but like, <laughs> you know, the, the shape of Florida, the dong. It's, it's in dead smack in the middle, but on the Atlantic side. So location wise, yeah, it's on the east side over there. Um, and like I said, this this trial that I'm covering right now, this case will probably have several updates. I'll be keeping you guys updated on just because, you know, we haven't seen the trial or anything yet. So as I get more information about the pending trial of her murderer, um, I will let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching.